Greetings and welcome back, Daplings, to RimWorld, where we are still suffering with a lack of most equipment thanks to uh, the solar flare. Now, how are things going out here? Hay grass. Uh, they're growing fairly quickly, actually. It's not too bad at all. Oh, growth rate 100%, 40% grown. Yeah, okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, could, we, <laughs> could we tame an iguana? Um... Progress stop until fertilized. Oh, that produces oh, it produces eggs. Hmm. Maybe. I'm fairly sure an iguana is a meat eater, though. If it's not a meat eater, it's omnivorous. But I, I really, I must confess, I don't know uh, what an iguana eats. I imagine iguanas would eat insects, though. So, uh, what would that eat? Would it just absorb its food from the environment because I've not seen any insect mobs and giving it a plate full of, of muffalo meat might not exactly work the way I imagine it should. But now, where we left off in the last episode, I was going to set up some guns. So I get those on the go. I'm actually a little uncertain about having that switch there. Maybe what I should do instead is have that such bay here. Yes, I actually think that would work better. I would like to be able to specifically shut the power off to this line directly, rather than uh, shut it all off to this building that way. So what we could do, for example, is we're going to have the switch there, and then instead I'm going to have to get rid of this one, unfortunately. Let's take you down. Now, let's speed up time and let... Uh, everything progress. We've got a little bit of mining to do. We've done all the mining over there. We've got a little bit we can do down here, though. Oops. Solar flare is ending. That's really, really good to know. One colonist is idle. Bad blanket. You should probably find them something productive to do. That is a very good idea there. What are you doing, bad blanket? You don't construct. You repair. You don't really grow. You clean. You haul. Uh, you know what? I think maybe setting all of those up to one is probably a good idea. It feels weird having all of these on top priority, but uh, we could have you handling if only to just get out there and do stuff. What are you equipped with? Let's have a good look at you. You've got a little pistol. Well, you know what? Perhaps I could set you up as a basic hunter. I'm weary about setting you up as a constructor, though, because as a lot of people have pointed out, Construction now actually really matters. Granted, you've got three skill. Uh, okay, we'll give you those those abilities just so you've got something to do. You can help out the rest of the colony. But uh, I feel that that may come. I may come a cropper of that decision later on. Uh, let's go ahead and talk of the power there. We'll also talk of this power. I don't want it draining the batteries just yet. Uh, I've got those going up. Okay, that's uh, not too bad. We've got a little bit of metal in there, which isn't too terribly bad. I've got everyone set up with Soldier Brawler, Soldier Worker, Worker. Got this. Oh, the armor vest is awful, though. Mm. However, Keegan, as my close combat specialist, I really would like you to wear this armor vest. Or should I? I mean, it is quite a bad one, honestly. Uh... We'll consider that. We'll consider that one. Archibald, you've just got a pistol. What kind of skills have you got? You've got five. You have five. Where is Bad Blanket? Bad Blanket. Okay, Archibald, you get this. Go ahead and equip. Pump Shotgun, I'm not really feeling giving that out to anyone at the moment, but perhaps I should. Let's have a quick look at the information here. Uh, apparently I can't see it, but uh, if I have a look at this, maybe. There we go. So, we've got medium, 39%. It's actually not too bad at touch, so, you know, you can wall pistol whip people quite well with that. Damage 9, warm-up is almost a second, range of 24. Okay, and what about the pump shotgun? Range of 16, so we'd be losing 8 range. A longer warm-up, but significantly more damage. Uh, range cooldown, 66. How long it takes to recover after firing this? I, oh, right, okay. So you'd need to factor both of these in, I take it? 
It doesn't actually say what that is. I'm assuming that is taking aim, but I could be wrong. But accuracy at medium, short, and touch, fairly high, all things considered. Let's just have a quick look at you again. What's your range cooldown? Eh, more or less the same thing. Okay. Well, Willow, let's have you go and equip that then. There we go. That's a little bit better. We're, we're slowly upgrading everyone's equipment, and I certainly like this. Let's uh, toggle that for now. Now, oh, cargo pots. Three colonists are idle. That's not good. We do not have enough work for them to do, clearly. All right, well, uh, let's actually start work on something new then. First and foremost, I would like a lot of all of the junk that's around here moved uh, out of there. So let's go ahead. We'll put it on so that some time is passing. But I would like a dumping stockpile expanded out. All the way down there. There we go. Then I would like these floors. Remove these ones. I don't mind if this is just dirt. In fact, I kind of like the idea of that. It, it, it seems aesthetically, uh, or rather thematically, fitting for the junk stockpile to just be bare dirt. Uh, we'll get some proper concrete going out there, though. Um, as for under here, maybe some concrete. I actually kind of like that. I'm not entirely certain about keeping this where I've got it right now. I'm thinking that maybe moving that would be a good idea. And I'm also considering expanding this into a new large room and having the prisoner quarters elsewhere. But for now, let's just go ahead and get these tiles all paved out and then... Okay, no one is idle. That's great. Then we can get a little bit more mined as well. Now, what kind of wildlife is around here? We've got a rhino. I can only imagine a rhino is going to be really hard to kill. And will do a lot of damage to us if we try. I don't like that. Muffalo. Is this some reason why I can't tame you? Do you need a certain amount? Uh, trainable intelligence, intermediate, minimum handling skill. Ah. Cannot be tamed, trained, or commanded by anyone with less than this skill in animals. Do I have anyone with a minimum handling skill of three? That is a very, very good point. Uh, let's have a quick look. Archibald. Handling. Animals two. To me, animals eight. Okay. Uh, we've also got Keegan. Animals three. Bad blanket. Animals 2. So Keegan and Tamiz can both tame relatively well, or at least they can tame. So only really Tamiz and Keegan can do this job. So there's no point in even having you there set up with that one. Keegan, I'm going to give you 4 on that. You construct a new repair. Um, I'm going to take... Bad Blanket, you can remain there. I think Bad Blanket is set up. Well, actually, no. Bad Blanket is set up to hunt. Willow Terror, though. I think I'll move you around, because you will actually get better at it over time. Uh, it's a difficult one to know which one to set up, but I'm not going to um, debate it too much. Wouldn't mind Keegan also having a three on this one, so they'll do that before cleaning. If I set it up with two, they'll do it before growing or hauling. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, actually. We'll set those up with two. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit more. There's more that I want to get done, but thankfully, all of these rocks are being moved out, and I am actually really, really pleased with that. I'm wondering if perhaps I could set this whole thing up as a grow area for grass. That might actually be worth doing. Yeah, let's go ahead and set this whole area up. Now, if I look at it allowed areas... I would like my animal area is already set up. Area 1, home area, already set up. I'm happy with that for now. Have we run out of metal? I believe we probably have. So let's go ahead and set up some more mining to go on. We are going to... Uh, actually, there was metal on the floor. But we're definitely going to need to look into the possibility of trading. That is going to be a very big and important task for us to get set up. Now, from what I understand, a trading beacon can actually be set up indoors. Orbital trade beacon. And that would actually catch pretty much everything we store in here. 
So I'm very happy to do that. I would like some lighting in here, perhaps. Uh, so yeah, we need furniture for this one. And we could have it perhaps set up somewhere around here. I do actually want to have a, a second route for my power to reach this area. So that does actually make sense. I'll place the light there. And we'll run this power conduit down. Straight down through this wall to around here, I think. We will have... This won't have a gun set up. Instead, we'll have a switch. So we'll build the power switch down here. And we'll just allow the power from these batteries to move into these ones as well. Though that said, I'm wondering... It's probably a lot to do with the actual conduits themselves and how much power can move through them. So before I do that, I imagine that one of the reasons why power isn't flowing as quickly into these batteries is simply that this conduit here is overloaded. Now that could be completely mistaken. Nevertheless, I'm going to operate under that assumption. So, actually, well, we've already run it up there. Damn. Okay, well, instead of that, we're going to run this power up along the inside all the way up that way we should connect to the other side of the batteries now i could just be making that up i i literally have no idea um by all means do let me know in the comments if you happen to know but uh we'll we'll just roll with that for now uh i could go with metal tiles not particularly interested in it could have wooden tiles in there if we really wanted to um we could i think maybe having paved around the uh, edge of the room then concrete in the middle will be fine there we go it's going to use a, a chunk of my metal but it should be all right i suspect now everything is set up in there and uh, things oh i was about to say things are being very quiet i should have known better honestly oh this is actually a reasonable amount of people we've got a couple of people here okay let's have a quick look are any of them you don't care about people that's fine uh, you're a hard worker and a brawler. Psychically dull, jogger, green thumb. Green thumb, sangwine, psychically dull, teetotaler, optimist, neurotic. I mean, you've got a couple of people here who I wouldn't mind taking. Especially Alboyo. Melee of 10. I mean, I would like someone with good shooting skills, honestly. Um, green thumb, sangwine. Permanent moon effect plus 12. I mean, you'd be amazing. You're also less likely to take any. So I'm going to try and not kill you if I can possibly do it. Also, you're a pretty pretty good uh, person as well. Optimist, neurotic. Um, you three would be very nice. You possibly as well. Well, psychopath, I'm not sure. But I mean, you've got good students. Actually, this entire group. This entire group are worth my time. Right. Please, bad blanket, prioritize flicking that switch. You don't need these ones turned on. They just get in the way. Right. Willow. Let's get everyone else selected and draft. Keegan, time for you to uh, get up here. You can go in the corner there. Willow. I'm going to have you come down here. Where's Tamiz? Archibald. There we are. You get down there. Where on earth is Tamiz? Tamiz! Sorry. Sorry, but you're up here with me. Right. There we go. Can we get you there? Right. Move out. They're going to be attacking immediately, so we need this done very quickly. Flick that switch. Thank you very much, Bad Blanket. Now you're drafted again. Uh, you're going to move with Keegan, I think. Actually, yeah. Well, Keegan, get back down here. There we go. And, yes, we'll get you up there. Now, we've got two people coming around this way. Our guns are already firing. Right. Time for you to move, Keegan. Make a, a mad dash over here. We'll have Bad Blanket move down. There we go. There we are. Keegan, on the march. Get up behind them. Now, how badly damaged are you? Right lung, gunshot, left kidney, heart. Oh, wow, you are kind of messed up, to be perfectly honest. 
Right, they're in close quarters with our range fighters over there. Okay, right. Who's badly wounded? Tamiz. You've been stabbed with a spear. Those scoundrels. Alright, bad blanket. Wouldn't mind you just racing over there, taking cover there, because you'll have cover from a few different places. Keegan, you stay on the move. There we go. And now, Keegan, get in there. Melee attack. That's the way. Oh no, Tamiz! Okay, you're not you're not doing well. Uh no, actually Archibald, you hang tight. Fire out. Just do your best. This is probably going to hurt a lot. Disease. Flu. Who's got this? Bad blanket. Really? What a time, bad blanket. Terrible timing. Oh, dear. No, they're trying to kidnap someone. Are they trying to kidnap loads of people? Ah! Get up there now. This is terrible news. Get over there. Don't let them get out. Oh, my lord. Keegan. Run. Well done. Okay. Get up there. You've got a pit. Oh, actually, you charge. No. No, who are you stealing? <laughs> who are you stealing from us? Fire. Oh, if only we turned these on. Oh, no. <laughs> They're going to get away. Ah. This skedaddling. Oh, really? No, I don't think so. Uh... There we go. Oh, did you die? No, no, you're okay. I would like this turned on, please. I think we have a moment. We may be able to do it. Right, prioritize. Bad blanket. Rescue. Now, Keegan, keep running. Right, want you drafted. Get up there now. That's right. Yes, keep him from taking Archibald. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. We don't want these to fire anymore. Um, turn that off. Get that shut down. Keegan, rescue Archibald. Oh, my lord. Those scallywags almost made off with two of our colonists. I mean, granted, I was, you know, pretty much making plans to kidnap them as well. But this is not fair when they try to do it to us. Okay, well, two dead... A bunch of skedaddling. Oh, this is going to be rough. Alright, bad blanket. You're no longer drafted. Will of Terror, you're not drafted either. Or are you? No. Alright, Keegan, let's get you back. That was that was really rough. Tamiz, how are you doing? Oh, pain extreme. Okay, Keegan. Undraft. Prioritize treating Tamiz, please. Bad blanket. Can I get you to prioritize Archibald? Willow, I want them captured. Which one did we get? Ah, oh, good. Hard worker brawler. There's no chat there's no guarantee we're gonna keep them. They may die. But we'll do our best. Oh, that was that was a bit of a, a rough fight, honestly. Um We need to Send them off. Get rid of all these. Actually, no, no, no. Get that. Um, sure, yes, strip them. Uh, we'll grab the pump shotgun. Grab this as well. Shoddy club. Strip them. Okay, that could have gone a whole lot worse than it did, actually. Granted, I haven't had a look at Archibald's wounds. Oh, he was just basically knocked out. That isn't as bad. Knife, cut off nose. Oh, cut off right thumb. Well, that's a little bit of a shame. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, sure. Heal them. We'll try to. We'll try to recruit them. Now, who have we got working on wardening? Main one is to me. Oh, to me, this was almost kidnapped. I wonder if they will uh, take kindly <laughs> to treating these people. We're definitely going to try and recruit that person, but uh, it may not be possible. And if we can't, we'll probably release them. But that was actually... That wasn't a bad little fight. I'll be honest with you. I, I found it kind of uh, kind of fun. Uh, let's speed up time. Low medicine, though. Only two medicine left in storage. That's actually rough. Let's 
very rough. We're going to need a lot more. Should have planned for this, really. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new growth zone. And we'll make this one out here. This will be a large field for medicine. Because this takes a long time to grow. Uh, we want this one for... Where are you? There we go. Alright, so... Now, are you all okay? Let's have a look at you. Yeah, you're pretty much... pretty. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're not so great. But could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse, actually. I'm fairly happy with the fact that people didn't get stolen. Bad blanket, really not happy though. It's got the flu untreated, really. Please, will you please treat bad blanket? You know, just rescued a bunch of you. I actually think bad blanket did flat out rescue someone too. Um, I think he managed to shoot someone who was trying to skedaddle with one of our colonists, thus forcing them to drop said colonist. All was well. But there we go. Keegan. There we go. Everything is good. Everyone is, is well. I am very happy. Now we'll get all of that grown. 55% grown there. Eh, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while, to be perfectly honest. But uh, a lot of people sleeping... Sleeping off there, rough, rough time there. Keegan, can I pr get you to prioritise cleaning? I really want this place as clean as it can be. There we go. Now, where's everyone gone? Oh, good on you, bad blanket. Straight out there in the middle of the rain while you've got the flu. Herbalist is fully healed. Fantastic. I'm right, having a bit of a chat. Let's uh, check you out. Feeling bad, imprisoned, cramped environment, ugly environment, little bit crowded, convinced by Warden, you know. I had Warden, and I had a talk about the colony. It sounds like a good place to live, really. Starts expiring in 3.9 days, finishes expiring in 4 days. Uh, generally, not too bad. We'll continue, we'll keep you around for a little while. I'm not, obviously I'm not going to leave it be for, for ages. If, if it does just seem like we can't recruit you, then, as I said, we'll probably release them. Again, this is Dapperton. We're not just going to field execute someone because they don't want to live here, even if they did come along and, and start a fight with us. Ooh, Archibald lacks their weapon. Uh, hmm, to me. How about you equip the survivor's rifle and Archibald equip the PDW? There we go. Now you can go out and you can hunt. Or you can visit graves. One or the other, I don't mind too much. There we go. Right. Okay. Well, that was a bit of an interesting uh, episode, I think. But we're going to probably wrap this one up because there's a mad animal. It's probably a boom rat. Ah, uh, those boom rats. Can't ever end an episode without something going mad and wanting to kill us all. Uh, Archibald, how about you go there and to me, you do the same. Get over there. We'll just try to take out this mad boom rat when it approaches because it's going to. I'm sure of it. Oh, there we are. Really? Oh, dear. That's not good. Pull back. Pull, pull right back. Go now. Run. That's right. Flee. Keep fleeing. No, no. Keep fleeing. Don't let that thing explode next to you, please. It's wounded. It's slow. Get down here. There we go. Ah, that could have been nasty. Right, we'll take that, please. There we go. And you can stop being drafted. All right. That could have been really quite nasty for... Poor old to me. Let's have a look at you. Uh, a scratch. It would probably be better by itself in time. Uh, that is going to keep triggering because they're only going to try to put out the fire, which is considered part of their home. So I'm just going to expand it for the sake of getting them out there to put that out. There we go. That's a little bit better. And you can also take that in, please. There we go. We can always uh, use that as food. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and will be joining me for the next. And certainly keep the feedback coming in. I am learning quite a lot from the comments. Hopefully not too slowly. But we'll have to see about that. And it's not me who gets to judge on, on that score. But as always, until next time, do take care. <laughs>